Hey everybody, I'm Juan. I'm here in my basement. I'm here with John Mouse and his amazing band. Thank you guys for uh, playing the basement. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, can you uh, introduce the band real quick? So, yes, so. this is uh, Jonathan Thompson Esquire. This is uh, Esquire over here. My brother Joe Mouse. Joe. And uh, Luke Deluxe Darger, LD. LD. That's amazing. I mean, uh, it's been 10 years since we started doing this show. And this is the first ever live stream that we're doing, so it's scary and exciting, and I couldn't be happier to have you guys be the first band to kick it off with. Oh, well, so, it's, our, it's our honor. So thanks again. Thank you. Um, how did you guys come together? I know you guys are brothers. How did the rest of you kind of link up to, to play in the band? Well, you know, I was, I was thinking that if I went out again, I would uh, definitely want to take a band with me, and uh, so I had my eyes peeled, and... Uh, a neighbor in the small town that I'm living in uh, mm -hmm. on the border of Iowa and Minnesota and Austin, Minnesota. Uh, I was over there. They were having a picnic or something. And uh, I don't know. How old, how old is uh, your old man? Dad? Yeah. Mm. Put him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> how old is that? I'm sure he's happy. Knows. Well, I met his dad. And his dad was like writing a book on, uh, per on the history of percussion and stuff. Oh, and no I'm, way. Like, I'm like, oh, man it would be cool to have this guy playing drums in my band and his and, dad yes <laughs> yeah and then uh, <laughs> that would have been and really then i knew uh <laughs> his daughter uh, and uh, a, a long story short they were like maybe you should ask the, the <laughs> jonathan because he plays drums too and he studied it in college and uh you know uh he's uh, steeped and i'm always making the joke i'm sure he's tired of hearing it that uh, it can't be much fun for a drummer to be doing you know Bass, snare, bass, bass snare. snare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially <laughs> one as uh, potentially virtuosic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so, are these are simpler beats. Are these simpler beats than what you're so. used to? No. no, no, no you know. <laughs> Do you want to hand them the mic? Some. <laughs> the feel, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. what it's about. The drummer's feel? The feel. The feel <laughs> of the music. The touch. <laughs> you know, which makes it all the more uh, complicated and uh, deep and all those things. So, yeah. yeah, right. yeah. The feel. The feel. Yeah. Well, the band sounds amazing. You've done a ton of shows by yourself. Do you, are you aware of them on stage, or do you kind of get into your own zone and like do your thing? Yeah, no, I'm not aware of them at all, other than sonically. Sonically, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe it's an ineffable thing, but uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, you know, I can't find my legs, I can't find the energy, right. and uh, all of a sudden... It helps to a, have some all of a sudden, more energy John coming will, at you. Will, will, you know, donate something that... Uh, uh, I'm like, you know, that's great. Um, yeah, yeah. And it, uh, and then Joe, of course, yeah, he's my brother. He plays bass. He was uh, working at uh, a Soul Crushing uh, uh, <laughs> Aeon and Aeon. Uh, oh, well, we've been, yeah. 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 Where, where, where? How did you end up? Yeah. Where were you working at? Oh, uh, yeah. I was, I was working a pretty good job. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, John was looking obviously for. <laughs> he was starting a group, and I played bass since I was really young. No, like uh, I didn't go to school for it or anything. But when he, when he, you know, was this the first time you guys were like jamming together? You've been jamming kind of a no, little bit. No, yeah, it's the first time we ever really did. Oh, that's um, cool. Nice. Because there's a bit of an age gap, so I had my own stuff in high school. Yeah, but yeah. After that, I kind of followed other pursuits and totally. When he uh, came came to me, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, let's you know, do this. The, I I got to practice. <laughs> I I said to myself, but uh, it's not the a, simplest bass stuff. No, He's no, his lines are super fun. Super fun line, it, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to play them, so. Cool. Yeah. And I know you guys have done one other live stream. This is your second live stream. Is there, is there a certain vibe? How do you feel like this interaction between performance and technology for you? Where do you see that going in the future? Smash that like button. Yeah. <laughs> Smash that like button. Uh, Smash the like button. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, Do you see more of an interaction for you in the future, moving forward between like technology and your? I don't like, know. I mean, it's a, straight, it's a it's a it's a it's a unusual context that I don't I, I haven't quite I don't feel I've come anywhere close to uh, uh, finding my You're, bearings on it. Do you yeah, know what I it's mean? weird because like, uh, it's like who are you performing to? Yeah, You're, yeah, yeah. I mean, when we rehearse, for example, I just sit in a chair. You right. know what I mean? Uh, and uh, it's very very much uh, uh, just uh, more of a exercise than a event you know right right right, right. Uh, so uh, it gets a it gets a little bit uh, um muddled yeah. uh, so far i mean i, I mm -hmm. one would be able to find it i think um uh, 
It seems like it's going to go more in that direction, too. Right. So you'll have a bunch of these to do. We got the LD, though, at the end. I, LD, that's not, it's our stupid little abbreviation. Luke Darger, uh, he, he's the only one of us that comes from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. He grew up there. Uh, he studied keys. And uh, he actually, I think it's interesting. This is my little one sheet on Luke. Mm -hmm. uh, the R and B scene that Prince was uh, came up in, mm -hmm. you know, the residents yeah, yeah, that sort of still exist, totally. you know, the, the 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 the, and he was part part of those ensembles mm -hmm. and things. And I, it's an interesting factoid uh, uh, that he gave me uh, that I always like to repeat because I think it's interesting. Uh, that uh, one of the ways that synths came into pop, for example, yeah. was uh, Prince and these guys grew up listening to brass sections, and obviously they couldn't. Get right, a brass so section. So they got the little approximation keyboard. of that. Yeah, interesting yeah. tidbit. Right? That is oh, a great tidbit. Know, <laughs> but uh, you want to say anything there, Luke? You got anything no, about? No. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, maybe that's it's all caricatures I'm drawing here. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. No, that's all good. I mean, uh, so speaking of uh, live and this virtual audience, we actually have a couple of questions from our live viewers that are coming in as we speak. So if I could get. Uh, some of these questions. Why, thank you. Ooh. Okay, the first question, guys, is from Elena from Spain. So if you're watching, this is this is for you, Elena. Your song Pets is one of the saddest songs I've ever heard. What is your opinion on pets? Do you have any? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that's I, a lot of questions, I, but I, you know. I've been hit with this one about the pets are going to die a few times. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, uh, just the, the, the bullet points on it are, first of all, I don't think I'm alone, although I am certainly privileged in the fact that my first encounter with any sort of idea of mortality was by way of the household. Uh, pet. Exactly, right? right? Like, where did it go? What right. happened? You know, it's in the ground. What was the like, pet, if you don't mind? It was mind. a cat. It was a oh, cat. It was a cat, okay. And so, uh, you, know, uh, you know, it wasn't a parent or a brother right. or something like that. It was a, you know, where I first had to reckon with that. Uh, uh, and, then, uh, and then whatever, the whole thing is, it has the most philosophical verse on the whole album in that final uh, outro or whatever you would call it. Uh, 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 there's a moment uh, where I literally quote uh, uh, a, a string six head about uh, that title is transfigure has to do with transfiguration. Okay. So transfigured into in, uh, the pets go to heaven, right? right. They go to heaven. <laughs> they're in heaven. They, they, they they're all up their there. Their mortality, yeah. uh, or whatever. Are pets mortals? Do you think they're they have mortality? They have. They must. They have consciousness. They've got don't more malady. Know your mort that you're thrown through your death to be. It does truly that define mortal? No, a it more defines mortality. Of, yeah. Dogs go off by themselves. I know. Die. Yeah, I know. Cats, cats too. too. So yes. But uh, this conscious so. relation. I'm not diminishing any. This isn't about intelligence. It isn't about <laughs> intelligence or anything like that. But just you, are human beings uniquely mortal? Mortal. Do you understand? Maybe, I feel like animals are even aware of mortality of the animals around them. Maybe their own mortality. They definitely want, like they have a survival instinct. Like elephants around graveyards and stuff right. like that, right? They're, no, I mean, this yeah. is a... Yeah. What is knowledge, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can bust in, bust in my chops? <laughs> We're just busting your chops, man. <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's good, it's good. No, but come on, don't you think yeah. we're all obliged when when 10 people are watching a stream online to try to interrupt it with, with the very thing that's lacking, like rigorous thought and patient. I agree with you. But it won't, you know, it, it won't happen. Here. They're just going to throw, they're just going to throw a stone at our head if we try to de deliberate. Uh, pets do have mortality. I think they know it. That's where I stand. You heard it here first. Yeah, no, but I mean, the, you know, uh, there's the one guy that said that uh, pets, uh, when a pet dies or when an animal dies, it's a, uh, event in the world and when a human being dies it's the end of a world in which events like that take place again i'm not they're they they their their whole sense i i wouldn't they, i wouldn't my uh, the conclusion for the moment disagree the, the conclusion for the moment is i wouldn't deign to speculate what mortality is or is not Fair for enough. a blue whale you know yeah you're I right know, i know i'm mortal and i'm happy about it like uh, I know, there's some of you out there in the uh, in the in the circuits that are that that are gonna live forever. Like uh, like like Brad Pitt in Interview with a Vampire. Totally. You have fun with that. Uh, John and I are gonna be uh, feeding the dirt, aren't we, man? Feeding yeah. the dirt, maybe cremated. Yeah, yeah. I don't know which way I'll go. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. Scary. But make it so scary. They make a noise. <laughs> So I hope I hope uh, that answered your question out there in Spain. Yeah, sorry. No, it's good. No. It's a happy. They it's transfigure. A, it's, it's, it's a transfiguration. Thing. It's, it's joyous, a joyous thing. You know, it's heaven. Look at for their sure. eyes. Look yeah, at their yeah. eyes. Well, we have feral cats. Hundreds feral of them cats. Feed. Yeah. 
cats are nice. Could Joe study? I've never had a real pet. I missed out, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you have siblings? I had two siblings, but they're like oh. older, so I didn't really live with them. Oh. And I only had small, tiny pets. Like, <laughs> I had a guinea pig, oh. which you know, that was yeah. my first taste of mortality. It was my guinea pig dying, yeah. Aussie. So, yeah. was, you know. so I got an, I got one from uh, Tom D from Seattle, and he is asking all of you, Tom D, what are you most satisfied by? That you know, specified, but not specified by our viewer, but I think you can take it. Well, this is a good place to plug products that we like. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if any, most satisfied by Brooklyn Lager. <laughs> <laughs> if, any, if any corporate sponsors want to have us say what we are satisfied by, you know, smash the like button, leave a comment. Yeah. Um, May you forever be dissatisfied, right? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I don't know. I can't get any yeah, satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that no? I mean, no. I mean, what, what are you most satisfied by? Sorry, we got, what am I? Got no, no, no. Mics. I want. Well, no. What kind of well, well, you know, you I, I want you to do the mic, but you know, it's hard to pass yeah, around. Yeah, no, I think. Um, what am I most satisfied? I don't know. Um, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy interviewing people. I love uh, playing shows. I love playing music, um, and I love food. Food makes me very satisfied. Like and you can go so deep on food. Yeah. He likes my answer. I don't know if you guys can hear, but. Food, music, you know, um, interaction, human interaction, you know. We saw that last night. J.S. Bach defined music as a refreshment of the spirit or a recreation of the spirit, like not mere recreation, but like right. recreation. I thought that was interesting. That yeah, no, interesting. Uh, but satisfaction, it just seems like a, like a, like a base, like a, on, the, on, the, on the needs thing, like food and... Uh, is it a little clothing. lower down? Maybe, it's like, I don't know. I mean, what's, we've you've got to deal with. You can't. Can you get satisfaction or, without dealing with no, your I mean, first? Like the, the, the greatest, the greatest thi of all things is not to uh, crush the enemy and see him driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the woman, as Conan the Barbarian said. The greatest thing is actually. <laughs> uh, Everybody knows that quote. <laughs> yeah, is uh, gra is gratitude, right? Is that sad? I mean, Ooh. is that? Can you say that's satisfying? I like, I like, like that. weeping, tears of joy. Uh, let That's, me be gu guilty before all, so that all may forgive me. And is that not heaven? You know what I mean. Like uh, that satisfaction. I'm a million times worse. You know that sort of thing. I mean, if if that's what what is the what is the perusia or what is the greatest good? I mean, I, if that was what the question. But mere satisfaction. I don't. I don't know. Like a, like a. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah. Pizza. Coke, uh, sucrose. I love sucrose. Sucrose pizza. Yeah, a can of. 30 grams of sucrose <laughs> to accelerate my meat. Uh, oh, I like these sorts of things. Yes. Cool. Well, that definitely, I think that definitely. What do you guys, that. any guys, you, John? You Does anybody want to add to the satisfaction uh, question? I like, yeah, I like food. I like music very much. Beer is very good. Cigarettes are great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're great. They're bad, bad for you, but. for you, yeah. You say okay. that about so much stuff, you know. That's a whole other. Don't give a fuck. Area. I love cigarettes. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, playing, playing live. It's fantastic. Uh, uh, it's trying at times, but whatever. It's, you know? it's very satisfying. It's what it is. Like. Mm. It's me off. Location is, uh... and also, if anyone needs a drummer ever, I'm right. You guys for, saw what he I'm can do. Hire. You saw what he can I'm do. I'm for hire. Uh, uh, <laughs> was that not enough? I, I mean, but I, I, he's like, you can poach me. You can it's, poach it's me like if you a, want. It's like a polygamous sort of, you know, yeah. like primary. He's already then I you're, need like a. You're he's already poor. talking about cheating. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, are you playing I with also Gary? Play also? With oh, the great man. Gary War. The you great guys are on Gary tour with Gary too, right? He's upstairs. He's upstairs. Shout out to Gary War. We love Gary War. Gaz Forth out. Yes, two days ago. Amazing. Great album. Check it out. And uh, your shirt yeah, yeah, but also, also, yeah. So you know, people let me know. I like, I like playing and getting paid go, for it. So, way to go, man. I bet you're gonna get like, channels. you're gonna start getting a lot of DMs. You're gonna get a lot of messages now. I hope so. <laughs> Road with the top forty, and they pay you millions. Like, buy me a piece of gear. I will. Buy me a, a jet ski. Yeah. Well, get a yeah. jet ski. Don't forget the little people. Once you're Plus playing with whoever, you know. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you should be dissatisfied, right? Like in a good way. Always. The vocation, the Always. militant vocation. A slight sense of dissatisfaction maybe keeps you on yeah. your toes. The world creatively. is not, uh, it's on its head. <laughs> Do not be reconciled with this world. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. All right, I got, I got a quick one. Ready? James, that's actually, I'm lying. It's not a quick one. James C., I've got no information on him, uh, but I've got this. I imagine you have some cool opinions on hauntology. 
both in musical terms and as a philosophical concept. My question, what are they, man? Do you have a chew? Uh, what is what is, do you know what ontology is? You know, I'm just uh, nicotine, this is coming live, so you know, know I have no, no. you know I do don't you know? I'm not sure about ontology, uh, especially from like, a music. I think from, it's like because I don't know about genres like micro genres. I think, ontology you know, must be like like yeah, no, wave. it's like it's like the <laughs> constellation. I'm assuming of like musicians that uh, that I'm happy to align my you know like uh, like okay. my friends like oh right, right. Uh, some kind of uh, uh, and you went to school with uh, yeah, yeah 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 well they're okay um, and so you know Geneva and and, and Gary and and well I uh, but I like this phone. can we look up this word one of you, oh, you guys can definitely look, look, look up hauntology yeah he's gonna look up hauntology. I mean, I know there's the French theory fucking uh, Are there any more of those? Specters of Marx more. thing, but uh, but then there's I like I like I like the just using haunted graffiti as an adjective. Oh yeah, that might be a, a, a way of approaching this. Somebody looking it up, uh, approaching this. We've concept. got somebody on this right now. Uh, Hauntology. Yeah, yeah. no, oh, I mean, the surface is always haunted, man. Yeah, the mechanisms yeah, yeah, are always that. haunted. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're getting on here. All right, we're learning. Ontology, a portmanteau of haunting and ontology, is a concept coined by philosopher Jacques Derrida. Yeah. Oh, Derrida, Marx. yeah, yeah. Specters of Marx. All right, uh, do you want me to read more? So, yeah, it's not yeah, chill is, yeah. To go on. so it's we're gonna take that. It's not chill wave. No. Not chill. Not chill wave. That's what it, that's what it means. I've only gan I've only gandered at that one, and I remember uh, he trips out about. Uh, you know how Mark is always, you know, Spectre is haunting Europe, all that stuff. But, uh, but uh, I, was, I like Mr. Moneybags. He's always talking about Mr. Moneybags, too. Mr. Moneybags comes in and, 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 and smashes Who's up Mr. Moneybags? Stuff. I don't know. Uh, it's, Mr. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> this is from very, that, from this that. Is very specific. I'm not sure how uh, well the context lends, uh, it lends <laughs> itself to a careful exegesis of Spectres of Marx, you know. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, to just try to put it simply, yeah, I do think that uh, the mirror surface, right, like the 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 the, the, sh the the pop, the spectacle, or whatever you want to call it, can be haunted, hollowed. You know, I guess there's some uh, languages of first peoples that have like verb tenses for. Huh. Well, I mean, there's the vocative tense, for instance, when a th you 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 say something and it, 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 there's a it's hollowed. It it it's, it has that dimension to it. That do you understand what I kind mean? Kind of, yeah, like, yeah, It yeah. isn't merely uh, w reducible to what appears. There's a, uh, something right. else runs through it. Uh, a ghost, you know. There's other um, layers that may not be. It's haunted. As, it, it's haunted. Not, not the, as house haunted. the house is haunted. The house is haunted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the graffiti, the the diritus, the the uh, the tr the tritus. The tritus. The tritus. The tritus. The tritus. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Joe. <laughs> it's it, it, there. It has the. Uh, I think I think there is uh, something else than that. Sometimes, perhaps, yeah. perhaps. There going on. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I do. Even if only even in Warhol, even you got the makeup, the you know the the lipstick, the desire, right, to uh, to uh, be seen, to be recognized, right? I mean, haunts uh, certain situations to uh, to uh, donate or give something else than what is. And what is? Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, that suggests some sort of haunted. Uh, Graffiti, uh, does it not? I, I don't. I mean, I'm I riffing so. here. I yeah, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. Um, I'm the only thing I'm prepared to say, right? Well, not <laughs> the only thing is that it's weirder than that, right? That's my it was my ethical maxim. <laughs> it's not. There's other things I'll militantly stand by, but just totally. I'd have to, without leading with my chin. It's weirder <laughs> than that, right? Always and everywhere. Yeah. Some 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 jerky comes up to you, or or bojo. Bojo, no, oh, a Schmohawk. Schmohawk comes up to you, and he has all the answers. Bojo. He's got it all figured out. Right. One, he's gonna tell you what's up and why you're. Don't listen to that. Yeah, well, I mean, he's not gonna. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you ain't gotta be a dick, do you? You don't have to be a dick. Not you, Joe. But I'm um, just looking. Joe, for, <laughs> looking for uh, backup on this one. Do you know what I mean? You met yeah. that guy. Well, let me tell you. Right. Actually. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, actually, yeah. hauntology means, uh, and you have got it wrong. Uh, I don't know. Actually, what it's just chill wave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I. You know what? I, yeah, yeah. No, it's I know a what conversation. you're saying. These people give the humanities and theory the bad rap that it has. I think. Anyway, not this person. I wish yeah. we could. We could give a panel on it. This is nothing what against uh, James C. Yeah, sorry, James. Sorry, James yeah. C. Yeah. I, uh, James, I'm not super familiar with the, 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 the that book. And in, in all honesty, I've only. Uh, Sort of gandered at it, and I was like, oh, you know. That's fair. They're expecting. They're expecting you to know. No, no you know, yeah. that's totally fair. 
I know we'd be against the metaphysics of presence, but uh, I don't know. It's complicated. Anyway. All right, sorry. Well, I'll throw yeah. one more because this is kind of like Can't a pretty big everyone? one. Yeah, I would love to keep this going. I mean, this I'm going to go forever, until man. they're just like, they're just telling me to cut out, but we're going to keep going. Um, this is Don G. Don G. Great name. What do you think of reincarnation? Ooh. Oh. Well, I'll let you take that one first, John. Yeah. If somebody, <laughs> well, does anybody have some thoughts on reincarnation for Don, yeah, for Donnie yeah. G? On reincarnation? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, not really. No. Okay. I'll, pass it, I'll pass it. I mean, it would be rad. <laughs> well, it would be awesome <laughs> if it I happened. It does, does our spirit, does our soul, is there something? This is a, well, you know, I like the spirit thing leads me on a digression. Like, yeah, I yeah. like the idea of uh, of of of, uh, of the distinction. You know, be spirit, refreshment of spirit, recreation of spirit, the spirit of a people, the Holy Spirit. Between that and soul, a soul is what I got. Spirit is what we got. Right. Right. Uh, right. But uh, but. Uh, 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 what was the question? The reincarnation. Yeah. No, no. What do you think I, this of, whole it idea of if, if it involves an economy of karma, so that the baby that was the child that was put in a cage and a and abused by its parents was just a bad guy in his last life. I think that's that a sort thing. of that's, obscenity. A set, that's a little uh, too. An, an economy of spirit, though. Isn't there some shit about economy of spirit? What do you mean? Like, did Martin Luther have this whole thing about the economy of spirit? I don't know it. I don't like, know it. I don't know it. Well, I don't. I don't know it really either. But, but I we're just talking about I know of it. I know. But I'm. I'm saying if you're about to go and talk shit about reincarnation, no, I'm not. Just from my standpoint. I'm just saying, and I'm only talking shit on the on the on the economy caricature, of spirit on the caricature. I wouldn't suppose I have access to uh, the deep seated um, uh, worldviews in which this is a, a, a reality. What are we out of time? Um, because uh, this know. is an Must important watch. question. Because people, I know what you're karma. saying though about the idea of like you're going to punish someone in this life for something that they may have done in a past life. That's how which they is do the basis it. I've, of I've a had lot of systems. People bold tell me, uh, you know, yeah, you, you, you. That's how you pay the price, and, and that's always the just, idea of paying the price on anybody a new who life, gives that an seems, explanation for uh, the yeah. suffering and terror in the world, uh, in terms of some sort of spiritual economy, or uh, soul. It's pretty or, problematic. Yeah, that's to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, idolatrous. It's Antichrist. Um, <laughs> but then uh, I'm being I'm being goofy. No. I'm for the camera. John. It's for the show. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm you know we're on the we're, on the, we're, we're hanging on out. The we're hanging out. Web. We're hanging out. Uh, this is uh, live. And uh, and uh, but uh, but then no, I I I don't. Other than that, the would only you want to be reincarnated, or do you want no. this to end? After no, do you I mean, want I like a it. permanent? It's fun to think about that you had past lives and stuff, but. Uh, but I think finally my own uh, the proclivities yeah. in relation to all of that uh, uh, tend towards a towards an end, a final end. A, this is it. A finality. One shot. One shot. Yeah. And, and it and it resonates onto eternity. You always will have been. Your right. uh, every every time, actually, I don't like yeah. these these, secu- these uh, public intellectual yeah. like oh these people they believe in heaven so like nothing matters like they only care about the no right every single everything matters maybe every even matters single more thing. Yeah, exactly yeah. yeah if it resonates eternally if it isn't just like billions and billions there's billions and billions of Joe there's billions and billions and billions I refuse I refuse to grovel in the dust before a quintillion. What is a quintillion? Quintillion. Well, quintillion. That's a Thomas Five. Manafort. I, I, no, I, I, you know, I don't, uh, billions and billions. Okay, Carl, there's billions and billions. What's a Dickinson poem? Does anyone know that, Emily? It's all in our heads, that one, the gist of it. I don't know. It would be good to have on my sleeve right now. We'll have, yeah. Yeah. Somebody look it up. It's all in your, you're right, Ron. I mean, what? We're going to look, yeah, we'll get it. I'm looking after. They're yeah. frames. They're frames. What do you think? Well, I, Gosh, I feel like I've already shared a lot of my thoughts on it, but, well, no, but you know. Out. It's your basement, man. <laughs> I'm not trying to hold court. Can you guys have some beers? Yeah, we're gonna, can, we get a, can we get a beer down here? That would be awesome. Oh, come on. We're, this is we're poor, almost poor television, guys. <laughs> no, come this on. is great. No, we're keeping it. We're locked in, man. We're locked and live. Come on, guys. Stop, stop, stop messing around. Come on. <laughs> I got one get last serious. one, guys. I know this is, this is a question from, actually from Pitchfork itself. And the question is, do you have any advice for lovers out there on Valentine's Day? Because mm. you guys are playing a Valentine's Day show here in Brooklyn tomorrow. Come to our show. How about that? How about you guys come to the freaking show if you can get a ticket? Oh. Try to get a ticket. Camp Stay true out. to each other. Yeah. Hey, 
There are some beers Stay coming true. down. true. Be honest. Are you... Uh, Uncover the meaning of love. Uh, Uncover the meaning of love. Together. Uh, the scene of the two. The show, I feel like, is going to have a nice vibe tomorrow. Pursue it. Pursue that in possibility. Mobilize it to... Uh, Disrupt the. You ever see Wally one? Yeah, I did the first, see. I love Wally. Yeah, I mean they they have that whatever third act or however yeah, you yeah. put it where it's like you know about recycling or whatever. But the right. first half, when the Wally meets the other robot that looks like an iPod, um, uh, <laughs> he he follows her up and is by virtue of that fact he interrupts the whole universe. Like he gets in everybody's way and all everybody mo the little robot that cleans things gets off yeah. its path. Because while he's going after love, can do that, don't you think? Can change everything. Can change the path, the trajectory, do er reality. Yeah. But it, you know, it's like we got to fight. It's so hard today, isn't it? Uh, with especially, you know, the ubiquity of the all these images of yeah sexuality yeah, and love totally. and how it's supposed to be it's and definitely ten different ways than you can when do I was this kid, and yeah, eleven ways you totally. can do that and so we have to. We have to, it's, it's ever more difficult to uh, suss out and, 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 and discover that mystery for ourselves, isn't it? Not? You see what I'm doing, John? In other words, <laughs> love is real. But also, 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 J.S. Mouse, uh, is that just it? Yeah. J.S. Mouse, Twitter handle, if anyone wants to come to the show. Couples only. Couples so, welcome. Sorry, oh, sorry love singles. Love is welcome. Romantic, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to keep it romantic. And on that, I'm not... <laughs> On that lovely romantic note, I wish note. I could be more like, uh, <laughs> you know, like, hold, like, a presence. You know what I mean? Like, and say, resonating. But it's just too hard, man. It's, oh, you do just no. Fine. Every minute, no. I, I, we, oh, that's the great danger is failing, right? To fail. True. That's true. But feel harder. Wasn't that what they say? Feel harder. Next, I don't know. Come on, there's, oh, a about this. there's a saying about that. There's a saying about failing man. harder. Let's, this let's, is all going uh, straight in. Yeah, we're going in to the to, to a hub, a <laughs> hub on the web. I'm serious, man. No, I know. It's a hub. This is it yeah. connects lots of yeah, things. Yeah. No, totally. We are very there's, privileged here, man. Yeah. In terms of visibility, we and gotta, it's, it's crazy that we can do this from from home now. You know, to the entire there's so world. many gobots out there, man. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Bro. You guys, gotta, I, I honestly people, I would love to interview you guys for another hour, but I would too. They're cutting me out, but um. Thank you guys so yeah. much for playing. All right, guys. To our viewers out hey, there, thanks, guys. stay tuned for Home stones. Shake. I'm tired. We've been going He's for tired. eight years. Sorry for the frog thing. Been screaming. Been screaming. I don't know this what This is also I'm the on. tail end of a long touring schedule for yeah. you guys. So. No yeah, we just no did excuse, five though. days in a row. We, uh, meaning out off the back of 80, you know, but no breaks. Drove from, from Today New was Orleans. supposed to be a day off, so I appreciate yeah. you guys no the spending it here. Yeah, but we did it. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Thank thanks you so lot. much. Thanks again thanks for playing lot, the basement. Man. Thanks. And viewers, uh, check out uh, Home Shake later in the week. And thank you so much for stopping by the basement. Uh, We're out, bye, guys. Yeah, we'll keep waving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna personally keep waving until. I'm just, yeah, there we are. <laughs>